this a little bit more on this side oh my hair's all messed up I got that was pick up the pieces by the average white band probably a lot of you guys know that's an old classic i uh, thought it'd be fun to kind of groove to that tonight all right so this show is about lauren pritchard and i will be showing you a, a body of work from other people a little snippets of other people talking about Lauren Pritchard and the fact that she made an appearance lately. Okay. For those of you who might be just tuning in for the first time, but I'm, I'm getting a feeling by some of the responses already in the chat that, you know, you already know who Lauren Pritchard is. So I'm going to try to describe it really quick in a nutshell. Uh, Lauren Pritchard is associated to a certain type of media here on YouTube that is connected to the UFO conspiracy world or also uh, let's say the super soldier conspiracy group of people. Uh, she has branded herself several times on YouTube with different channels uh, from being a Lauren Pritchard space mama to Lauren Pritchard Jesus news to uh, Lauren Pritchard uh, save the children worldwide. Uh, she has several podcasts, guys, in different areas, uh, not just on YouTube. She's also on uh, Spotify. She's on Spreaker. She is on uh, Anchor. I don't know if she's on Anchor, but she's on like Podbean. I'm like, we're going to, I'm going to show you some of the links of places that she's uploaded uh, other material. What makes Lauren so interesting is that she currently has been branding herself. And you're going to hear it in this video. One of the video, well, the next video I'm going to show you really quick. Hi, B Baker. Who is Lauren Pritchard? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm letting you know who Lauren Pritchard is. Well, you're going to get an eyeful. Okay. I suggest, because everything's a little bit um, surreal in a way, okay? So I suggest smoking uh, a bar, like smoking some bud, okay? Because it's going to make it a lot more um, entertaining for you. Uh, when And just enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself on this. Because uh, Lauren, okay, so Lauren Pritchard, her, her latest has been 
that you know she came out on her she made her okay, you can you can deactivate your YouTube channel and then come back on YouTube. All right, you didn't you didn't delete everything, you just deactivated. So that I think that's what she's doing. She's deactivating her channel and then she's reappearing again. Now, when she came back, she introduced herself as a metaphysical advisor uh, for the end times. That's her new thing. She has done several videos about the rapture. And uh, so that's another thing that she's done. She has really made some videos. I'm, and I've done this on my past, uh, my last video about her when she went missing, where she talks she puts she pushes the Republican Christian uh, red pill kind of philosophy where other people are Satanists. Um, they are doing child trafficking. Uh, she got arrested for not wearing a mask on the bus. Uh, she has um, you know ran around the border, uh, you know, and uh, you know had said things like, I mean, just almost like eliminating immigrants, you know, things that really would be considered hate speech or even uh, inciting violence toward a certain group of people, which is not really what you're supposed to be doing on YouTube. So she's an interesting person. She contradicts herself. She goes from, she basically says that Jesus is Lucifer, right? I'm going to show you some videos about that too. So the first, first tonight, we're going to start with the video that I, I happened to do a Google search and believe it or not. Hi, hi, RD. Uh, <laughs> Glad I'm stoned. Yeah. You want to be stoned. I suggest, and there's some really other interesting videos of, of uh, James Casbolt. Another thing I need to specify too about Lauren Pritchard as she's also claimed that she is Jean Casbolt's twin flame, which it means in, in new age world that your soul is connected to that person's soul. You're basically just a split soul of the other person. They are like your other half. She's claimed that she has claimed that she has been, uh, had immaculate conception. That's why she calls her spa herself space mama. Uh, she showed pictures of herself looking pregnant. And then she'd be like, oh, the baby was disappeared and taken. They were, it was taken to a spaceship. Uh, so her whole thing is that she's kind of ridden. She's, what I think she's done is she's taken a very successful genre of YouTube, the super soldier, super soldier YouTube, and has writ, ha has, She's ridden on the coattails of that by associating herself to things that are somewhat viral on the internet is what I think she's doing. Twin flame soulmate. It's not twin flame. It's not exactly the same as a soulmate. A soulmate can be a, it, that's different, but the twin flame is actually you're connected. Like you're like, it's, it's more like, yeah. I mean, you know what I'm talking about. There's a difference between soulmate and, and, and twin flame. So you can have several soulmates, but you can only have one twin flame. And a lot of people say that twin flames sometimes aren't even in this, this realm. Like the twin flame is on it in, in another, in, in another reality. So, um, okay. So I'm going to play does her poop stink? You know, um, that's a good question, but I, I really, I've never met, I really can't answer it, you know? Probably according to her, it doesn't, you know, I, I would I would imagine. Uh, another thing about Lauren that's interesting is she's been trying stand-up comedy as well. So there's some videos of her going to open mic night, which I find interesting that someone like Lauren is interested in being in the entertainment industry. There's this crossover. And then I'm also going to show videos of uh, Super Soldier James Casbolt rapping, which I think is kind of kind of interesting, too. OK, so let me expand this to here. And I'm going to play the first video. And I actually, my image is actually in this video, which I, I find kind of interesting. This is what I Googled recently. In the quiet countryside, not far from Austin, Texas, Lauren Alexis Pritchard, Austin's finest, Luciferian Christian, mysteriously disappeared without a trace. But now, guess who's back? 
A hug. You guessed it. Our girl's back. And hey, look who's back. Guess who's back? Back again. Why you weak and you're strong? And you're strong, strong. Why you're here and you're gone? You're gone, gone. Why you off and you're on? Because I don't like, like again, I don't like. I like to leave these people alone. <laughs> well. But then she just had to come back. So you know what, Lauren? Let's see what you're up to. What's up, guys? Welcome, Lauren Pritchard, metaphysical advisor. <laughs> well, have not been one for a while. Don't know if I'm going to continue to be one. I feel like I just mostly wanted to use my channel to point people in the direction of God and Jesus Christ. And then, you know, go from there, you know, go from there, you know, go from there. I will show you sick. You know, go from there. And I've taken a. But is this really her? Or is this just another one of her clones? Just how many clones does Lauren Pritchard really have? Let's go ahead and take a look. You feel like something big is about to happen? You're right. Something big is about to happen. Take a good look. Smile. 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 So out of place. Dumbass, you don't own land. What the fuck? Nobody has the right to touch my property. Here we have Lauren arguing about land ownership rights with one of her clones. Nobody has the right to touch my property. Dumbass, you don't own land. What the fuck? Nobody has the right to touch my property. You own land? You don't own land? <laughs> Nobody has the right to touch my property. <laughs> you don't own land? What the fuck? Dumbass? Nobody has the right to touch my property. Dumbass? Nobody has the right to touch my property. Dumbass? Dumbass? Nobody has the right to touch my property. So take a good look at my face. Take a good look. Smile. Smile. So out of place. So out of place. Smile. Door. At three in the morning, violent, violent knocking at my door. I do not know what it was for, and I do not care what it was for, and I do not care. I do not know what it was for, and I do not care what it was for. And I do not care what it was for and I Warren says that there's a deep scientific reason why two people can look at the same thing and see something completely different. Smile. Maybe so, but there's also just plain old deception. Smile. So I guess that Lauren Pritchard does indeed have a few clones, after all. About 8 billion of them, all made in his image. They say that God loves all of his creation so much that even soul fungus sometimes get squatters rights for a while. But that's all they ever get because our souls belong to him and the big eviction day will eventually come. Will eventually come for everyone. Fun fact for atheists and believers alike. Nobody has ever proven or disproven the existence of God. God. Ready on the track. Okay, so I thought this was I thought this was kind of interesting and 
Uh, I'm going to just kind of, I'm just going to stop it here for a moment. I knew it was going to go into something that it would be, look at, now we're going to hear about the queen. <laughs> that is so weird. It's going to go on Prince Charles. Okay. Maybe it's not. So uh, I'm, Aphrodite Rose Starfire is here and it, I'm going to play, I'm going to show a portion of her video uh, too, talking about Lauren. Um, now I'm not, I'm not telling, okay, she did a, did you see her road trip vid, uh, let's see, sorry, did you see her vid with her BF, lots of strange symbolism? Hi, yeah, because part of the reason why I wanted to do this show too is that Aphrodite Rose Starfire left a message on my YouTube and, and said, you know, Lauren is back. And then I watched her video and then I said, and then, you know, I go, yeah, I'm going to do a video about this too. I had heard that she was back about five days before um, Aphrodite uh, left a message. And, uh, and I had made a tweet about it and I had seen the video where her YouTube channel was back. Somebody had left a message on my YouTube channel also. Like they, I think my, it might've been my last video because they did a video about her being gone uh, about a month ago. And the whole thing about her being gone was that she got evicted, correct? Like Mersh from Nightwave Radio, I'm going to show a, a clip of his show too where he's talking about Lauren. And it's actually quite funny. And so I really want to show that as well. Uh, he did a whole thing on my last, I, I, I mirrored him on my last video. By the way, uh, this is, I'm citing fair use on these videos. This is, this is transformative work. We are educating the public and critiquing the videos we are sharing. This is uh, covered by fair use. And I will make sure uh, that I do have um, everybody sourced after the show uh, in the description. Uh, and I'm going to try to um, I'm going to try to make sure that I add their videos to the chat so that you can subscribe to them as well. I want to plug everybody that I'm you know featuring uh, on on my show, right? Even Lauren, right? I mean, I, I'm I'm going to hey, if Lauren had her channel up right now, I'd, I'd even link Lauren, even though you know we're talking about Lauren. Um, so she she told people that she was evicted. Or that's what we believe. That's that was the the narrative was that the reason why her channel went down was because she was evicted. Then somebody left a message on my channel or a comment saying that she has a place and that she's living with her father. And her father said that in order for you to live here, you'd have to take everything your your stuff off of social media. And then she came back and she did this video and I will show a clip of that coming up pretty soon on where and the only copy that's out there right now is actually when Mersh was talking about her uh, on Nightwave Radio. And, uh, you know, she just comes on like nothing happened. Like, oh, yeah, everybody, I just feel like taking a break. I just feel like taking a break. She talks about like a new boyfriend and that she's got her, you know, she started her new hair salon and you know, everything, all, all this other stuff. And I heard too that, and this is true too, like she's, she went homeless, but she was able to buy herself a new car. And she has this weird obsession with Elon Musk, even though she spends a lot of time talking how AI is taking over our consciousness and is basically Satan. She like loves Elon Musk and thinks that he somehow is our savior in terms of like perpetual, you know, for humanity to go forward, took her new car down to, you know, a Tesla, his plant in Texas, and is just all over Elon Musk. But, you know, I, I just wondering, like, Lauren, do you realize that Elon Musk has the neural link chip for your brain so we can interface with our consciousness, or I don't know if you say consciousness, but our brain will be linked to AI because AI is going to be so farther more farther intelligent let me try to like slow my thoughts down so i don't screw up my words here ai is going to be so superior in intelligence that how what well, you know you you guys all know i'm preacher to the choir elon musk says that it will be like they will be relating to a house cat we will be like ai's house cat so everything that lauren says contradicts like ai's awful 
Sir Rachel Adams is AI. You know, we're we're all demons if you don't agree with her. But she's, you know, going nuts over Elon Musk. Like, how does that, how does that equate? No, she's not in England. Maybe she disappeared because she's go to England to be near her twin flame. No, she didn't go to England. She's still in Texas. There, there, she's already come out and said that she's still, she's living right. She's like working at her boyfriend's in Texas. She didn't go any, she's not going to be with her twin flame if she's living, if she's in a new relationship with the boyfriend. Yeah, she might be James Cat. She might say that she's James Casbolt's twin flame, but she's not, she's not in England. Musk is very sus. You know, he is sus. I mean, I think Elon Musk and his mom, they're in the club. You know, that club that George Carlin says, you know, it's a big club and you and I aren't in it. I think they're in the club. But I'm actually fascinated with Elon Musk. Like part of me wants to like him. But at the same time, look what he's involved with. Yeah, she was like, Totally like whatever didn't address any of the drama. No, she didn't. It was like, you know, the whole thing was about her like not having any money and being broke. And she was targeted because of what she was saying on the internet and because she was saving children and giving this great, this big information. And, you know, she was doing what a lot of people do. On the, I mean, there, I, I believe target being a targeted individual is a real thing. For some people, you know, people have the FBI listening to them or they're on the, they're, they're being watched. That's not so far off. I mean, entertainers have had that happen to them. Or there's a whole thing on Eartha Kitt, you know, how she got herself into trouble. Like this, it's not out of the realm that gang stalking or targeted harassment, harassment doesn't exist. But Lauren Pritchard is saying it. She disappears. Did she get money? Did people donate to her? Did, is, that, is that how she afforded her new car? Was she ever even homeless? Is this just a big show? I mean, you would think that if you were homeless and you had disappeared and there were people talking about you being homeless, you would think that you would have the decency to come out and say, Oh, you know, I um I'm I'm okay now everybody. Thanks for being concerned about me. I'm totally fine. I got a boyfriend. I got a new car. Um I have a new apartment. I have a job or you know, all of you guys who thought I was homeless, I wasn't. I just left because I needed to take a break. She just comes out and just goes, "I took a break." Really? Hmm. So, Aphrodite, Rose Starfire. They go on a road trip to Corpus Christi and pick up a dead owl off the road, run out of gas, and then run over a baby snake. I'm like, what the fuck? She posted a new video on a new channel with her boyfriend. On a new channel. I think she I think she thinks Elon is Hades Pluto god in the underworld. Yeah, and you know, the thing of 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 Lauren that bothers me is that if she's being a Christian and she's exhibiting the negative aspect of what you would see a Christian being, judgmental, uh doesn't like immigrants, uh you know, all you know talking about the rapture. I'm not saying that that's bad, but that's, that's, you know what I'm saying? You, you, we're not, we don't live, we, we, we know what, what, how people view people that are on the corner saying it's the end of time screaming out in the corner, whether we believe it is or not is, is or isn't. You still kind of look at that person like, Oh, that person's kind of nutty. You know, runs around, accuses a, a, a well-known brewery and a bar in in uh, Austin, and says that you know they are run by witches and Satanists, and has a sign out in front of the place. 
gets arrested on a bus for not allegedly gets arrested on a bus for not wearing a mask. You know, she exhibits characteristics that people, but apparently our president in the United States is saying these people need to be done with in the United States. The Republicans or the MAGA hat wearing people, they are a scourge. They are a threat to democracy. That is how Lauren Pritchard presents herself in one aspect. In the next, in the in the next moment, she's talking about Hades and Pluto and Saturn and Lucifer and Jesus is Lucifer. And you know, she's she's she mixes everything up into one big hodgepodge. Matter of fact, the next video that I'm gonna go with to prove my point. Also by the same, also by the same, the same person that did this last video. Um, hold on. Let me find it here. I had it all pulled up, ready to go. Just a second. Here it is. Watch this. And I, I think that this is pretty accurate about like what Lauren is actually doing. And again, I think it's a little bit more than, because I think some people want to write her off as just being loony. But I think it's a little bit more than that. I'm in um Kev the Rev. I'm in the United States. Yeah, I'm 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 a California girl. <laughs> so yeah. You can't hear it in my accent, that California accent. Anyway. So I just the I just uh put uh, put the link to this video and the person that, that I'm sharing, they go by target number eleven. Okay. Um and I'm going to share this. This is Lauren, pretty much in a nutshell. Right, let me make sure I have like the right thing going on here. Here we go. Massive human suffering. What's up, guys? Welcome to Massive I'm Human Suffer. Advisor for the End Times, doing just a massive um, human suffer. So, um, distinguish just a quick little uh, chat about the AI. Just a quick little. So, um, so, um, so, distinguish just a quick little uh, chat about the AI. So um, this morning I was listening to just a quick little gentleman was speaking to the AI about its development. This is the artificial general intelligence. So what people have to understand about AI is that it is like the future human, massive human suffer. There is a nanotech AI. So, did you not hear her say that that AI is the future human? And then on many other videos that she has, she will put down AI and talk about AI taking over somebody's consciousness and blame people. Like, for example, Sarah has been, it is no longer, she's completely AI. And uh, so she, she will, she contradicts herself all the time. AI and how it was going to go, and then the solutions, and then the byproduct of that. And in the first paper, it was because AI is going to be it's going to create massive human suffering. So following my last video, massive human suffering, we are at this like very climactic point. The AI has created massive human suffering. <laughs>
Alright, so I do not know what soul fungus removal is, but um, so that's kind of interesting. Do you guys know what soul fungus removal is? Right. I, that's a good question, B. Baker. Is Lauren schizo or just an act? I'm leaning towards she's just an act. And the reason why is because, you know, I've seen where she's branded. I know that she's been around uh, the UFO media since, you know, she's, I, there was a video that I watched where it said that she'd been, she was going, she was at conferences back in 2016, 2017. Like she's been around for a while. You know, and I and I I feel more like she's gone because because of like what's happening. Like because maybe she's gone too far or maybe maybe we're figuring out that she's just, you know, entertainment for everybody. You're in California too. You know, I've been uh, Aphrodite Rose Starfire has a van life too. I was wanting to do that. I was I was wanting to do the van life thing and then do videos and stuff. Uh, she has an, another channel, and I saw that you're in Pismo and uh, Chaos Magic. Okay, B Baker. All of the liberals at Martha's Vineyard kicked out the illegals in two days when it started affecting them. Oh, did they? You know, it's funny. I was talking to my mom today, and she was telling me that that had happened. She goes, "Martha's Vineyard." She goes, "Do you realize how many people love to go to Martha's Vineyard?" And I was like, "Yeah." I, I was going, "Oh, well, maybe they want to do the old slave days." You know, where where they serve the elite, right? That's like what I was telling my mom, and and then. Uh, I don't know. Like, and it's funny to see that they already kicked them out two days later. Like, we're not having this. She looks like an actress from Vikings. Yeah, that's my thought about her is that 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 Lauren looks like an actress. She's pretty. She's charismatic. Uh, and it's a different like YouTube is a different form of entertainment i guess you know you see people just living their life in front of a camera and you know like when she's eating the sandwich and she's like i don't care you're pounding on my door and i do not care and then she's all wacky and everything like that come on don't tell me we don't love watching that shit like that's that's all like it's like here's my here's my train wreck life in front of you here's my drama in front of you and then you know can you can you open up your pocketbook and uh, give me a donation right or be come on to my patreon or help me out because i'm homeless but then i'm going to come back and reappear with a new boyfriend in a car and you know i have a house nothing really happened to me like everything's fine no explanation I, I, if I were you and I gave money to help her out, I would feel scammed. Totally. Totally scammed. Okay, so as long as there is makeup, as long as there is makeup and eyeliner, Lauren will be fine with AI. <laughs> uh, as Okay, that was, that was a... She would be obviously drunk and it would be a different personality. Space Mama is okay, but Cosmic Mama is better. <laughs> eh? <laughs> you guys are on a roll tonight. All right, so I want to share, since she's here in the chat, Aphrodite Starfire's, Rose Starfire's video about, about Lauren. Because I think it's worth listening to. Let me find it here. Here she is. Okay, so I'm pretty much. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna give you the the, the video in the chat. I pretty much uh, pulled it up to that part where she starts talking about when where she starts when. Aphrodite Rose Starfire starts talking about Lauren Pritchard. Uh, and the title of the of the video is 
Lauren pictured the uh, ad, abductee that cried wolf. Truth or phoniness. Okay, here we go. make sure I always like I'm paranoid I don't have the share system audio on it so I'm like I do it twice because I'm anal <laughs> I'm OCD okay here we go so, I was like I don't even really care that much to address it but like I I had gone out of my way to make a video about Lauren Pritchard to like see where she was because she had just disappeared, like, um, beginning of summer. I'm going to have my dates all wonky, but um, you guys can look back. I'm sure you've seen the video. But uh, her account, like, went private. And it was, like, the same time, like, a glitch happened where she recommended a video of mine um, about Fleur Burn that I had done. And she had done that, like like years like like a year ago she had recommended this video but it like glitched and said like i got a notification and it still said like lauren pritchard recommended your video like nine months ago or something and um and then i like went to her channel like made me go to her channel and she had taken down all of her videos and then her channel became like unsearchable like is she like took down the whole thing so I was like that's weird and if if you're unfamiliar um lauren pritchard has she like um like went to the ufo conventions and it was kind of part of the um like ufo disclosure stuff and this is kind of a mandela effect but i guess she did she did a whole like, interview with gary warmerdam three three years ago and i didn't even know like she had talked to gary warmerdam um but like that came up when i just searched her just now but um so anyways she had said that she um had gotten impregnated she was like abducted by aliens and then got impregnated she said by um um what was the guy's name that she said is like her by proxy father of her, her child? Um, it's like this other um, secret soldier guy who does testimony stuff and does the convention circuit and all that. Um, so she claims that she got pregnant and was celibate, but like immaculately conceived and or was like inseminated by aliens and or like orically by this What's the guy's name? You guys know the guy's name. Please type his name that she claims to be the pro James, James Casbolt. James Casbolt, Michael Prince. Yeah, he has like a bajillion names. Um, but he's kind of like a Max Byers, Max Spears kind of character. But I never really got into all of the, it seems just like, you know, like a Lord of the Rings, like um, cosplay kind of crap to me. Um, Anywho, so she claims that that's the father of her child. Um, and this child like grew like in three days or something. And she gave, it like was raptured out of her womb and um, like taken up to the ships or whatever. And now she was like, and then she like would do daily videos, sometimes twice daily. Um, you know, saying she's a Luciferian Christian and, you know, like saying she's like super, super negative about like how everybody's, uh, um, all the women are uh, Jezebel whores and, and um, she's like as a hairdresser. So she would tell these stories about like these men coming in and she just like trash talk the women in their lives. And she would like help them trash talk like these women and she'd be like, you should leave them. You should leave them. Um, so anyways, so she disappears, takes down all of her stuff. Yeah. She calls all the women squid witches. <laughs> and um, so uh, 
she disappears. Like I post a video, like where the heck did she go? Like everybody's kind of concerned. Um, she didn't say like, Hey, I'm leaving. She was getting evicted. So she was asking for help with her eviction. Like she would, she would sometimes say there was like guys following her. She does like stand up comedy and hangs out in bars a lot in Austin. So she got evicted and she like moved to this other place in the country. And it was like right in her, her cat, Jerry kept like going missing. And so it's like, there's something about her that like, even though she's like super nasty to me, like, I, I don't know, something like made me want to watch her and just like hear like sometimes like I can only watch her for so long. Me too. But um, so it's like her cat's disappearing. She's getting evicted. She moves to this brand new place out in the country in Texas. And then all of her stuff goes down. Um, she had just got a car and she had like visited Elon Musk's new Tesla headquarters um, outside of Austin. She was like, she did a video like around um, the outskirts of it. She could get pretty close to the building. Okay, so then she was evicted, her cat's going missing. So it's like all of these like weirdo things happening in her life that are sketch, you know? And she's like sharing that and she's by herself, like a single, or she was um, a single chick. And um, so yeah, so then her, her, she takes, so all of her stuff goes down. Like there was that weird glitch, like I said, where I got notified of something that she had done months ago sharing my video. So it was like this tech glitch, you know, she talks about aliens, all that kind of stuff. So I'm like, you know, did she get disappeared? Like, did she, um, you know, like, did she get like swooped up? Like, did she get reprogrammed? Like what happened? And so I post a video, there's like no response. Other people are like saying, you know, they think she's still around, but nobody like really has proof. And then um, about two weeks ago, I got like somebody commenting on the video that they said that they heard they saw her on some other platform or heard her on some other other podcast. And she had a boyfriend. And, you know, that was basically it. And I was like, well, did you see her? Like, did you hear her? Like, like, did she address anything? Like, so like a couple days ago, she posts a video and um, like I shared the video on my community page, but she's already taken it down and she's already taken down her whole channel again. Like if you search her channel, it's unsearchable. Um, so like her video, it was kind of like, it didn't really just like, hey, I'm back. She was kind of just like, oh, I missed you guys. I've been, you know, living my life out in the country and I have a boyfriend now. And um, I've been, you know, um, regaining my clientele and that takes time. And, um, me and my boyfriend walk down the street in this country town and it's just so normal and we're just so normal. And, um, uh, she's like, Oh, but the, you know, Austin keeps pulling me back. I'm still in Austin all the time. Like I have my own place, but I'm at my boyfriend's place a lot or, and it was like, she didn't address at all. Like, why she didn't tell anybody where she went, like why she just disappeared, why she didn't tell people she was taking a break, why she took down her videos. Because like she's basically like this fervent, um, like almost like a Pentecostal Christian. She's just like a very like militant, um, unapologetic, um, you know, like a Puritan, but you can tell in her new video, like she was softer. She had a glow about her. I mean, it's obvious, like she was getting, getting, having sex, you know, and that like 
softens out a woman when she's, you know, in a, in a relationship. But it's like she only had that video up for um, maybe a day, maybe maybe 24 hours before she took it down. Um, I didn't even watch the whole thing. I maybe watched halfway into it because it was just like felt like she was so narcissistic and so like just like didn't even address that people were kind of like worried about her. And um, what I see it as is like crying wolf. Like if you put yourself out there as like an abductee, your cat's missing, like people are after you, you're targeted, this and that. And you just like take down your channel and disappear and then come back and you're just like, hey guys. Like I see that as crying wolf. Like you owe it to your viewers, to the people that give you energy and attention that uh, you owe it to your viewers to tell them like, hey, I'm taking a break. Like, hey, I'm taking some time to myself. I know I just got evicted, but um, you know, I'm starting a new life. I'm okay. You know, like you don't just take down your channel and um, just disappear without saying anything. Uh, okay. And it just makes me think that she met this guy and was totally embarrassed about how she represents herself online. This thing she says about men, the things that she says about women. The fact that she comes across as like totally nasty, negative, bitchy. Um, and so she had to take it down. She met this guy. So he wouldn't like, l you know, not like her anymore. And um, she like felt comfortable enough in her relationship that she's like, hey, I'm going to go live again or I'm going to post another video. And I guess she didn't like what she saw or she's like, oh, I remember why I don't do this anymore. But she was like still complaining about people. She was still like saying like everybody's going to hell. Like everybody's um, like she like feels righteous that she doesn't like want to look at anybody in the eye. Yeah. Okay. Um, and we're going to we're going to get a little more into her not wanting to look at anybody in the eye because I'm going to. Uh, and that this is uh, Aphrodite Rose Starfire. She's here tonight. Hey, Aphrodite, um, do you know, is there a way that you can um, put that video in the chat of her with her boyfriend on, on the trip in the snake? Uh, because because that would be <laughs> be that would be great to show tonight. I didn't I didn't know that that video existed. So um, if you if you're able to access it, I, I like to highlight that, too. Uh some of the comments, uh, B Baker says impregnated. Uh, yeah. Uh, you know, and so she gave birth, like, so she gave birth like Mary. Yeah. Yeah. She's it's immaculate conception, which in and, in and of itself is, is pretty blasphemous. Right. I mean, I think to compare yourself with being having immaculate conception, like, like, like the Virgin Mary, uh, she is like watching a bad reality show. Yes, she is like watching a bad reality show. And like, I gotta admit, I'm, I'm actually entertained by Lauren. I mean, like she said some like mean things about me personally in a sense, but that being said, okay. You know, she, there's something like you, it's, it's like, again, it's that kind of freak show train wreck kind of thing. Like what, what am I looking at here? Uh, but, but I'm also... I also feel very annoyed and irritated by the deception of it, by the fact that she has this smug righteousness and yet this sort of, but then she contradicts herself at the same time that on a um, spiritual or, or a religious, uh, in a, in a religious sense, a biblical sense, she's, she mixes everything in this huge melting pot. Uh, you know, the, I, I don't buy her association to James Casbolt at all. And apparently, unfortunately, there's a lot of people that follow the UFO conspiracy media. They follow, uh, they followed James Casbolt and they think that just anything that anybody says, 
anybody could say that they are, you know, so-and-so's their twin flame. There's no way of proving or disproving that. And the fact that there's such a naivete, like, oh, this is really real. She's really saying something. Lauren really has uh, information that is valuable to what the reality or the truth of humankind is or our, the spiritual world. And she excludes people. I've noticed this about a lot of people. Matter of fact, Miss Sepsis is doing that right now. If you don't agree with her concept of what our reality is, like we're in a prison system uh, controlled by the archons, and that you know our souls just being recycled and recycled, and there's very few people that are going to get out because there's going to be a portal that's going to open. That's her recent video. If you don't believe that, then you're not human. You're not even human. You know, this when these people talk to you and they make these definite things that they say, to me, that is a, a, a warning sign. That's that's a red light. That's like, okay, something isn't right here because you're excluding an entire, you're being very definite and you're excluding an entire popular demographic of people. Kind of like what Joe Biden's doing right now. Joe Biden's doing it. You know, I mean, Hitler did it. I mean, there's, you know, there. If, you, if you're saying these are the bad people and these are the people that have no chance of any type of redemption, and I'm the person who's telling you this, that's a very dangerous space to be in. And she does that. She even, there's even a video. I don't know if I can find it tonight because it's not really the most important thing to have on this nut tonight. But she went off on her channel about her brother's, the woman that her brother was dating and just trash talked her. You know who else does that is Deborah Director, AKA Team Rose. She just goes off and says hideous things about her family on her channel. Where is it that it's okay to do that on YouTube? And how is it that you're, you're, you're at actual, you're giving valuable information to people on the internet? You're actually using your platform to abuse your own family members. They they are not like it's okay for me to talk about Lauren Pritchard. You want to know why? Because Lauren Pritchard is a public personality. And when you're public personality, anybody can satire you and also anybody can analyze you and even question your credibility as I'm doing about Lauren Pritchard reporting her behavior on YouTube and showing what other people are talking about her on YouTube is not me um, harming her financially or not, not, it's not me like trying to have, be of malicious intent and make up stories about her. I'm actually simply just earmarking things that she said and what she's done and how it's affected people on the internet. But if you're sitting there and you are, you know, going off on a relative or a relative's girlfriend and demonizing them and whatever, they they are private people. That's really not okay. I mean, even if she's not mentioning their name, um, I'm sure the family knows. Like, like I'm wondering, like, how 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 often does Lauren get get invited to Thanksgiving dinner with her family? You know, and is okay. If you uh, okay, I think if you if you make me a mod, I can drop a, a link. You can actually drop. You know, I don't even know how to make. I don't even how to know how to how to make mods yet. It's I'm I'm like oh, I feel really bad. So I think you can just drop it. In. You can't drop it in here. Okay. Um, email it to me. Email it to me at um, notmyrabbithole at gmail.com and I'll get it. And then I will I will share it. Yeah. Yeah, because I'll, I'll I'll see it in the like, just go to notmyrabbithole at gmail.com. Um so in the meantime, does Lauren do uh, conspiracy and UFO conventions? That I'm not sure. I don't think she's at the status that she actually speaks on anything or any topics, but apparently she's she's been there. And she's been an, interviewed by some people that are associated to that media. But I don't like she she's not a speaker like 
She's not a speaker like Sarah Rachel Adams has been, like, say, for the Basis Project or even Miss Sepsis um, or Max or any of those, you know, or, or Cass Bolt. Okay. If I search Lauren Pritchard, her new video pops up. Okay. I'm going to do that. Before I search it, I want to show Mersh, though, because Mersh uh, has a, a, a really good clip of Lauren. Which one is it? Okay, I think, God, it's so hot tonight. Yeah, I think I think it's this one. Yeah, it's this one. Mersh from, now Mersh is a comedian. And this this just cracks this just cracks me up. I mean, I, I'm I just this made me laugh pretty damn hard. And and uh so let's let's watch let's watch Mersh Mersh. Hold on. And I guess I should also um share his uh link in the chat okay for Mersh let's see um okay our girl's back and hey look who's back Guess who's back? Back again. Lauren's back. She still has no friends. Um. So you remember when I said that Lauren was um I was receiving intel on Lauren, but but um all the intel I was receiving alluded to her being in a relationship with a guy and happy and she wasn't grifting she wasn't posting any of her horse shit so I said mm -hmm, I'm gonna leave her alone called an audible um, decided that it probably was best to just go easy right um because I don't like, like, again, I don't like, Wait, I like need to, to go leave that these big. people alone. I like to leave these people. Leave oh, this let me stop this on. first. Okay. Uh, Hold on. <sighs> Wait, let me go. Let me, I want to go this way. All right. Hold on. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Let me do this again. So, you know what, Lauren? Let's see what you're up to. What's up, guys? Welcome, Lauren Pritchard, metaphysical advisor. <laughs> well, have not been one for a while. Don't know if I'm going to continue to be one. I feel like I just mostly wanted to use my channel to point people in the direction of God and Jesus Christ. And then, you know, go from there. And I've taken a well-deserved long hiatus. And I don't know if I'll be back. Well-deserved? You haven't worked? What break? From what? Lauren, you spent a year grifting on YouTube, riding your poverty bicycle around town, not paying your bills, and doing open mics and drinking at bars. What are you talking about? A break from what? Why do white women always need a break from things? What is it about that? What is it about white women? They're always like, oh, my God, I just need a vacation. From what? <laughs> Kanakistani, she needed a vacation from her vacation. <laughs> I'm going to hate you. I'm just kind of doing this as a little bit of an experiment just to see 
what happens from this experiment uh, and to do an open chat. Um, appreciate the followers of the channel, but mostly, you know, we're unified through the spirit of the heart, Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ. And you don't need a channel for me to, you know, speak to you through in order for you to know that everything is great. Everything is good and great. Oh, it's so, so good to see you, Danielle, Rachel. Yes, she just saw the notification. She says the first time in ages. Oh, what's up? Jacqueline's here. Oh my gosh, Jacqueline, I actually just finished your video and that's when I was like, I want to get on and do one. I just started. You, so you saw, <laughs> what you're saying is, is that a white woman saw another white woman getting some attention and said, mm, mm, not on my watch. started at a new salon being, uh, you know, independent. <laughs> so it's, it's totally my own deal. Yeah, that's what a salon job is. That that's what that's what being a barber or a hairstylist or a tattoo artist. That's that's what that is. You're an independent contractor. She's like, yeah, you know, just kind of independent. Yeah, that's what a hairdresser is. You fucking you rent the chair. But it's like a little slower getting started. You know, obviously, it takes a little bit of time to get your books full again. And, and, and so, you know, while I don't actually work on Tuesdays, I was just kind of feeling like I'm just like. How are you a hairdresser, right? You stop being a hairdresser for like a year or two, right? You don't, you, but you don't move to a new city or anything, right? How do you not have any clients? You wouldn't go back and reach out to your old clients and be like, hey, I'm back in town. Like, I need to be busy. I need to like stay and, and do and big B Trucker says it was pretty cool. Great clips out and over. I feel like the past couple few months have says like, he does that a lot. She'll just throw that in there. So she's doing this. And again, if you if you if you're just coming to the show, uh, this is a clip from Lauren Pritchard's channel that has now disappeared again. And this is whatever little bit of footage that's still out there about her explaining why wh why she's been gone and this and that, which has nothing to do with her being evicted, nothing to do with any type of crisis. It's just like she needed a break. This is Nightwave Radio, and uh, Mersh is it's it's his show. So we're and continue to work in the spirit, and, and then you know you get kicked by the material world, the material world kicks you down, the strongholds that were in place, they get pissed, they don't want you to work, they don't want you to have money, they want you homeless, they want you dead, they want you sick, they want you incarcerated. And then, you know, there's this surge of consciousness that raises, you know, people- <laughs> What are you saying? Lou Ferrigno goes, yeah, that means don't work. This is going to be 40 minutes of this shit. Let's skip ahead. Those who are used for and or are existing pawns of the Matrix B system with Satan. Oh, the Matrix B system. And, you know, Satan is like the ruler of this physical world as we knew it. And some days, most days, I walk around, you know, I do what I want to do. If I want to go to the library to get some books, like I'm going to the library to get books. I'm not going to politely nod at the existence of others. Mm -hmm. And people, the Holy Spirit, know that's true and real. Like, is anyone going to be mad at me if I don't walk around making eye contact, smiling and nodding and shaking hands and kissing babies? So basically don't show consideration to other people at all. That, that being, being narcissistic, piece of shit, and that you, it's, you're the main 
character. Everyone else is just a, a, a side character. Everyone else is just a fucking is just an NPC that wanders around and goes, oh, you visited the cloud district. Mm, of course not. Who am I kidding? Lauren. I hate when you when it, the more you talk, just the more of a piece of shit you sound like. Like, ah, oh, yeah, we're alive in the spirit, in the heart of the Holy Spirit, and God's working through us and Satan. So I don't even look people in the eye. I don't, I'm not even polite to people. Oh, that's a good way. You're really, you know what? You're really a great representation. <clears throat> that's exactly what Christ said in the Bible. Um, Jesus, I believe, went into really into depth about... Um, being rude to strangers, not making eye contact with them. Um, uh, Phil Pinochet is in the chat. He might be able to help me out. I'm trying to remember the exact quote in Matthew when Jesus said, uh, and I'm, I'm paraphrasing, uh, no new niggas. Remember that? <laughs> and Jesus, while he sat on the mount, told his followers, no new friends, nigga. We don't need that. <laughs> oh, wait, that was Drake. What are you talking about? You're just, you're just rude to people. I like that you found a biblical explanation for why you're a rude cunt to people. Right. <laughs> exactly. Babies? No. Nobody cares. Because people of the Holy Spirit know that you know, the city in Austin. Rich P, is that when Jesus brought a Walmart karaoke machine and blathered on a sidewalk? And like, it's remember that? Remember when her fucking, remember when her box kept blowing? <laughs> remember that? Remember she was trying to talk, but it was windy and her box for her fucking karaoke machine kept blowing away and she had to keep grabbing it. <laughs> you fucking suck, Lauren is largely trash. So like none of us want to be here anyway. And if anyone hey, else dumb bitch, speak for yourself. This is yet another manifestation of of your like sort of narcissistic your inability to have empathy or to see through to try to see things through the eyes of another person. And like now you're so you're speaking for none of us want to be here. Speak for yourself, bitch. Some of us like being alive. Some of us, despite the last couple of years, obviously being very tumultuous and being very stressful and a lot of people not making it through with all the stress and the pressures of the world and all that shit. Aside from that. Some of us like life, Lauren. Some of us don't hate this world. I can smell her rotten kitten from here. Yeah, where's the cat, Lauren? Where the fuck is Jerry, Lauren? Yeah, where is Jerry? Where the fuck is Jerry? Was a problem with it then you know that's just a very bizarre reaction to people like me i'm walking around I'm, I'm like avoiding the people that live in hell right it's like i don't want to add any more of that reality to my reality you know it's bad enough that like i'm in, here's where it gets really good i mean i'm not like in hell right we live a heavenly existence where we are put and I'm still, it's weird. I like got out of Austin, but my boyfriend like lives oh, she in did the city. Austin. And it's like, I'm here. I'm back again. Like I tried to get out. I tried, like I tried. I work outside of the city. I have an apartment outside of the city, but I'm like, I'm still here. What the hell? How did you land a man? <laughs> Wait. 
He must not know anything about you. But anyways, some random guy came up to me in the library, stalked me into the book section, and he was like a robot. He was literally like the Mr. Smith agent because one day I just was like, I, I could not look at a single person just because I didn't want to. The reality, like, this is like such a, this is such a hellish environment. The cities are such a hellish environment like these people live in hell like they're creatures they're robots like so i fucking leave i'm not even you know metaphorically literally whatever take it with a grain of salt if that's over your head whatever it's a very bizarre existence where people take orders from a subconscious negative ai system as zj pointed out mr smith wasn't a robot dummy instead of the other way around with god and the holy spirit and they are concentrated in the cities. And so one day I was just ignoring all. Yeah, you were being rude. You were being a rude standoffish cunt. Look, I'm not saying if I get on a fucking train or if I'm walking through a fucking terminal or something at an airport, I'm not saying I'm going to stop and shake everybody's goddamn hand. When I go for a jog, I'm not going to stop and have a conversation with every person I pass. But Lauren, the thing to do, even when I'm on a jog, right? I make sure at least I try to make an effort to make sure that everybody that passes me, I give them the little, right? Isn't that... Isn't that just a normal human thing to do? Like if I'm going for my jog and I see an old couple passing me, I'm always like, you give them a little, right? I don't need to know your whole fucking life story, but Lauren, part of being a human being is acknowledging one another's fucking existence. Without that, we got nothing. It hasn't phased her at all. Okay, yeah, exactly. it, it's gonna get really tickles me. It make it makes me uh, laugh. It's, it's gonna start here in a moment. But before I go fact. there, I I want to answer. I want to respond to some of your guys's comments. Uh, Aphrodite Rose uh, Starfire says, "I thought it was weird. People were telling me she is okay, not to worry the whole time. She was uh she was radio silent. So there must be some background community in the know." Yeah, you know what? I would agree with you that that is actually a possibility. Uh, I've had a lot of people come in. I, I think some people tell you things and they and they and maybe they don't really know, but maybe they're just wanting to be part of a conversation. Um, or maybe they, or maybe some of them are part of a background community. When I did my last video, I really had some people come after me. They, they said I was disgusting and this and that and blah, 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 blah. And, you know, I basically at, at one point wrote that I thought that she was a C-U-N-T, you know, that, that, you know, that, that she wasn't a very nice person. And, you know, and so they go, oh, you're making fun of, you're doing this and she's homeless and she's desperate. And she's blah, blah, blah. How dare you do this? I get totally raked over the coals of some of the comments. And I go, yeah, I think she's a C-U-N-T. Okay. And, oh, how dare you call her that? Well, you know what? She hasn't said nice things to me ab about me either. So what do you, what, you know, am I supposed to be like, you know, I, I think she's phony. I think she's a disinfo agent. I'm not buying any of it. Uh, you know, either, you know, I, I think that she's been chaotic and disruptive and she said some awful things about people and she's all over the place. And on top of that, there's people that, buy into it, that they believe it. They believe that, you know, uh, James Casbolt is her twin flame. They believe that she was impregnated by alien babies. She has jumped onto every algorithm gravy train uh, where you would get notices on your videos on YouTube in a specific genre. I think she's played her cards and she's fishing. She's fishing for something. She's fishing for money. She's fishing for something. Either that or it's some sort of narcissistic attention that she also gets from doing this. You know, like, 
no matter what, she does this video and she doesn't even address that she was homeless. She doesn't even just, oh yeah, I just took a break. I got a new boyfriend. Everything's great. Blah, 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 blah. I'm your multidimensional spiritual healer. I'm going to drop, I'm going to drop some things that you're all into. And, you know, and then, and, and the fact that she has this sort of overall pompous attitude, she's always above other people or a portion of people. And that part of her personality is very unattractive to me. And then sit there, see B Baker says she, she isn't, she isn't remotely Christian. Exactly. She's not. And then, you know, she will blate. She's a sociopath. Probably is. Probably is. Lauren is lucky. She's semi pretty, but that's not going to last. There's a carelessness to her actions that is highly sus. Yes, there is. She flagrantly demonizes anybody that disagrees with her, disagrees with her or challenges her actions. Like she was taking donations for a, 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 like a, a, the child rescue. And I said, Do you, are you a, a, a 501c3 nonprofit to be like, be take that money? What children have you been saving? And um, she's an American. No, no, she's not an American style Christian. There's nothing American style Christian about that. She projects it one part of her personality, the things that she's doing on a political level. Yeah, she is. She is. She's like exemplifying the um, the negative aspects of what you think an American Christian is racist. You know, calling everybody a Satanist, uh, talking, getting involved, like being crazy about child trafficking acting like she's saving children, taking money to save children, but not really producing. I'm pretty sure there's a video clip where she, where somebody says in her chat, um, what, uh, where were some of the children? What have you done for the children? It might've been me that said that in her chat. And she goes, oh, that's a demon speaking. That's a demon. Okay. You know what? No, it's not Lauren. It's people that want to know what you're claiming that you're doing and whether or not you're credible for it. And when you, like I said, when you look at the United States and the way that we are being, people are being marginalized and gone after, Lauren is playing that person. And we'd say, is this a sociopath? Let me, let me just go on about the sociopath uh, uh, for a moment too. Is she a sociopath? I've been watching videos about YouTubers that have actually killed other people. Matter of fact, there was a guy who was just live streaming the other day that was just shooting people from his car and killing people while he was live streaming on Instagram. People are losing it. So if you think somebody that you're watching on YouTube isn't capable of doing something, yeah, they are. And then come to is is, is this is this a person who might be something like this? I'll tell you what this person does. She incites other people to take violence on groups of people like immigrants at, at the border, because I featured that in, in my last video about her. That's where she's dangerous. And if she is, let's just even go with like, hey, this is an MK Ultra person. Even if she is, a person like this can make national news if something actually does sprout from her actions, because she is poking in that nest. She's poking in that beehive. She's poking the wasps. That's what I think about Lauren Pritchard. Okay, let's continue. Well, I usually do, uh, but one day I was just purposefully ignoring all. And this, like, Mr. Smith agent bot, like, came up to me as I'm in the library. I'm in the bookshelves looking for You're inside book. the bookshelf? And he goes, hi, what's your name? Like it would like crazy. Whoa. Whoa. What a fucking psycho. Bro. Lauren, I got to ask, did you file a police report? I would. Look at those eyes. 
bro, if I was at the library and somebody came up to me and said, hi, what's your name? I might shoot them and then call the police and tell them I was raped. I mean, like citizen vulgar, I've killed for less. It's like, what do you, what do you, this fucking weirdo comes up and he's like, hi, how are you? What's your name? And I was like, bah! and I ran, I burned the library down. <laughs> the guy shooting his shot is lucky. She is so inept at human interaction. Yeah, he fucking probably, he dodged a bullet. Yeah, eyes, and I just looked up and I put my hair down and I was like, oh no, no, I'm not in the mood. And he said, my name's Christopher. Nice to meet you. And put his hand out. And I Maybe he was retarded or foreign. <laughs> That's the part that gets me. I mean, the guy, if you said, I'm not interested in speaking to you, and he was like, ah, by my name, Christopher. Sounds like he might have been retarded or foreign. Maybe he's not a robot, Lauren. You know, you've met an adult man at the library. There's a very good chance he's retarded. <laughs> Think about it. How many grown men are going to a library? <laughs> if a grown man is hiding, hanging out at a library, Lauren, and he's not a librarian or a pedophile or a homeless person there to use the bathroom. He's probably a retard. I'm here for the puzzles. <laughs> I come here for the puzzles. They like every Saturday they come and read stories to us. And you're like, ew, get away from me, creep. Can you imagine that would be a funny bit. Like a chick's at a library and she's like, oh my God, the guys here are all such creeps. They just keep hitting on me. But they're just all retards that are going up and saying hello. <laughs> hello, what is your name? Get away from me, you fucking creep. <laughs> my name is I like to come here on the weekends because they read us stories and give us snow cones. <laughs> she's like, ew, I'm not taking a drink from you. Was he wearing a helmet, Lauren? Farva wants to know if he was wearing a helmet. And I said, no. Thank you. Nice. Have a good day. And he was like, okay. Bye-bye. You know? Lauren, <laughs> that you're doing the voice. <laughs> and that voice is really leading me to believe <laughs> that you encountered what we would traditionally refer to as a retarded person. <laughs> Right? Like, that sounds... You're doing the voice. So if you're telling me the story... Like, if somebody said to me, yo, I was at a, I was at a, like a Chipotle, right? And this guy came up to me and he went, hello, what's your name? My name, Christopher. I go, that, yeah, it was a retarded person. Citizen Vulgar, she totally shot down a retard. Wow. <laughs> Rich P. I'm here to finger paint and fuck, and I'm all out of poop. <laughs> oh, like it just it told, and it was just kind of one of these like weird things. It was like the AI system was like <laughs> almost furious with me that I was not co-creating with it, and because I refused to co-create with it. All right, I take it back, Lauren. You're the retarded person this little Mr. Smith bot came up to me and was like, hi, what's your name? Can you make me real, please? Because we make them real. There's something about us being here that that makes it real. And Bro, you're a fucking sociopath. See? He needs to be put away. Lauren, you display one of the worst cases I've ever seen of a person dehumanizing everyone else around them. Mm -hmm. And that's coming from me, Lauren. And Lauren, I'll be the first to admit, 
I've got narcissist, uh, narcissistic tendencies. I'm a bit of a megalomaniac. I go through life feeling like the main character a lot of times. I'm not generally thinking about those around me consciously 24 seven, but like, I also self edit and, and I control myself at times when I want to have a temper or stuff because it, you, it's, it's a courtesy thing, Lauren, everyone else, everyone around you is not some robot drone. Not everybody around you is like, you just dehumanize everybody. And then you treat them like shit and you can justify it by being like, they're part of the AI machine system, man. It, you, you, you gotta have some, at least a little bit of consideration for others. I think he's spot on. It, it, it's it's like if, if 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 I get a meal at a restaurant and it's incorrect, I'm gonna yell at the the people. It's not their fault. Okay, so I'm gonna stop no, like him there. I just mistakes happen. I wanted to give you a, a taste of, and it's pretty much it, he he's pretty much wraps it up at this point, but. That is the footage that is is that was up for like I don't know twenty four hours when she came back and started you know when she put she reactivated her channel and then came back and hi Shelly Gold this is a new person in the chat okay so I want to uh, address some of the things that you guys have um, have been saying. Um, Check out her new vid. I swear it's full of Illuminati symbols. Her BF kind of looks kidnapped. LOL. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go look for that right now. Um, not nah, Kev, she's just using Christianity. Yeah, she is just using Christianity. She's just rubbing salt in certain areas. Yeah, she's just using it. And 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 she doesn't even she doesn't even teach Christianity as 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 a person supposed to. Like like she's mixing it all up with new age. She's even admitted in interviews, like she did it when she was on uh, Two Seekers. She said she was pagan and Christian, and then she's come out and said that she's Luciferian and Christian. Like the two things don't mix. It's like oil and water. And I I've even said something like that in her chats before. Like I've I've going how how I've even made those comments like. How could you combine these two things? The whole thing in the Bible is, is that you don't worship other idols. You don't practice other things. And then the video that I showed in my, in, in my other video a month ago about her missing, she told this woman why she has a sign out in front of the brewery saying that everybody's witches and Satanists and they're, they're harming children and pedophiles and this and that, right? This woman comes over, you know, her footage where she stops in her car and gets out and starts talking to her. And she says that that Jesus is a consciousness from Jupiter. Like that is not that is not a Christian teaching. That is not. That is like twisting things around. And that and then she exhibits the negative stereotype of of a Bible Belt Christian, the hateful kind. Who I don't think that that is an example of Christianity either. The 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 kind that's the reason why we're about to have a civil war in the United States. She exemplifies that, and she's not even that. And th and that's my point. It's like she's just she's just a phony. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm going to um, I'm gonna look for that other video really quick and see if I can find it. I'm gonna put Lauren Pritchard in the search bar here. Hold on. Actually, oh. Is this it? Port Arkansas trip five days ago. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, let's watch it. Thank you, Aphrodite Rose Starfire. Okay, here we go. 
Oh, so she's been, now she's in, she's on, she took a trip to Arkansas. So I guess she doesn't have to worry about cutting hair. Oh, and then uh, Aphrodite put, she worked at, at Supercuts. She was working at Supercuts for a while. Okay, so let's watch this. it wrong. Orange sauce? Okay. Wait, let me um let me pause it for a second. I mean just Barry to the RV farm. So this happened in August. I mean it like it, it's it's saying Port Ar Arkansas. It's not Arkansas, it's Arkansas. Is that a place? Trip. So it must be Port Arkansas. So I don't know where that's exact. I, I I was thinking it was it was it was Arkansas. Arkansas misspelled. So I guess I'm wrong. Port Arkansas. What is that? I'm gonna I'm gonna Google Port Arkansas just to see. Maybe maybe one of you guys in the in the uh, chat know what that is. Hold on, let me. 
how stu how high or stupid do you have to be to run out of gas? That's B Baker. They borrowed a car to get gas. Okay, the uh, the the dead aisle was 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 really like why why did we have to see that? And then yeah, you're right, it was showing one eye. So if you want to RV farm Corpus Christi, okay, okay, so. Is that, that's where it is? Is Ironsaw's port is in Corpus Christi. Okay. Thanks. So I was thinking they were like, so this is what she did. She went to Arkansas with her boyfriend in a car. Apparently she's, is, is that the new car? Cause I'm, I'm, I'm thinking maybe it's not. I hope that's not her new car. Cause it doesn't look all that great. Uh, RV farm. So this is what she's been doing while she, while she got evicted, basically. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking. Is it me? Okay, I, I, or does, does her boyfriend look kind of um, like maybe he might like men? Like, I, I don't mean this in a bad way. But I think her boyfriend looks like he might be more into guys than he is into her. I'm not saying that he is. And, and, and I don't mean this as a judgment. But if you're going to read somebody, he kind of looks that way to me. Doesn't he to you guys? I don't know. Okay. I'll leave it at that. I mean, if he were my boyfriend, I would be wondering if he, you know, didn't like men, you know, or, or, or was bisexual. I had a boyfriend like that one. I mean, while I was dating him, I, I, my relationships are, we're not really in a relationship. We're not really committed to each other. We're not even really dating. I don't know what we are doing. <laughs> it's like, but there was a guy that I had a big crush on and uh, we hung out. We, we did have a little thing. Uh, he was an actor and, uh, he had a certain, a feminine way about him and people go, he's gay. And I go, no, he's not, you know I mean? Like there are some guys that are just kind of like that. And, but then again, like sometimes like he loved it when guys paid attention to him. <laughs> so it, I, I still always wait. Like I could tell like when guys thought he was that he loved the extra little attention. That was just my observation. Okay. So I always kind of wondered, Hmm. He might go that way and, and not ever admit it. That happens. I mean, my, my dad was bisexual, is bisexual. So yeah, I don't, I don't like mean this as a judgment, but looking at the guy, I'm like, wow, you know, that's okay. Anyway. This is their vacation spot? Are you serious? Like all that to go here? Why? Is this an Airbnb? What is this? Okay, Corpus Christi for dinner. Yum. Okay, let's skip what's happening here. Heading home. Oh, 
Okay, and that and and this is the the last. Let me let's look at the last frame here. Wait. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Go back. I want to. Okay, I'm gonna let it go up here. I, I I don't know what to say about this. I just huh. Okay. I mean, you know, I, she's always talking about how James Casbolt is so masculine, and Max Spears was so soft and gay, and everything like that. And you know, I just. The feminine, divine feminine, and the male. I just don't. Is this a pretend boyfriend? I just don't know what's happening here. Lauren Pritchard Ascension. This is a new channel she's created. Lauren Pritchard Ascension. I'm going to click on to here and see what else is on here. See, another rebranding. Okay, that's it. That's the only video. Lauren Pritchard Ascension 222. Well, what do you know? <sighs> yeah, I think that's a, her new car. Okay, well, so... It's not that, I mean, it runs, so that's good. And my, like, it wasn't, it kind of puts a different perspective on things. Like, she didn't just like, you know, oh, she got evicted and blah, 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 blah. She's got a new car. Well, her new car isn't, it's not a Tesla. Let's just put it that way. But it got her to Cor Corpus Christi, right? She named it Betty. Okay. She found a new Mark. I don't know who Mark, Mark. Baby, I'm going to take you to the trailer park. Yeah, he's a beard. That's what I was thinking. I go, this is a beard. This guy is not, he looks like a beard to me. There apparently were 220 other Lauren Pritchards. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, you guys. Um, I'm going to take just a really, like, quick break. But before I do, I'm going to, like, as I take a break, I'm going to play another Lauren Pritchard video. So let me um, pull one up. Um, I have to like run to the bathroom really quick. I'm sorry. I, 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 I'm going to be rude, but I got it. Uh, hold on. I had to take a little tiny break here. Um, it's 1114. I'm kind of like watching the time, but I want to, cause I pulled up a lot of interesting things to show tonight just for fun. Um, since we're all hanging here observing the Lauren Pritchard, Lauren Pritchard anomaly. Um, okay. I think I'm going to, um, play this one for a moment. This is target nine one one again. This is pretty interesting. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Aphrodite, Rose Starfire. No worries. Yeah, I got to hold on. Here we go. Wake up and release the light. Wake up and release the light. Let me help you help yourself. You're fucked. Cut it. So Wake up 
things really see light, I realized that there is this subsequent awakening for a more Christian spiritual archetype to like wake up and realize there is something about the material world that is useful to us. And when those who are of the material world don't condemn those of the non-material world, then there is like a harmonious sort of synchrony. There's like a harmonious kind of creation that occurs so long as people don't condemn the Christians, they don't necessarily identify with the Christians. They consider themselves more the scientific brain. We need to wake up and remember. This all goes back to the Lucifer King archetype. I mean, the story of Cain is quite sad and purposeful, and sometimes we just want to pass it off as like bad and evil, but it's not bad and evil. So, bad and evil. Like, we are like one spark, one word, one breath. Like, wake up, remember. I used to think it was like, okay, you wake up and you remember. But there is a new level to the depth that is like, at the same time, like, you need to wake up and remember. Remember, but there is a co-creative force between the material and the spiritual. And so long as they are not in a bad of nature, then it is good. Ooh, at the same time, like, we need to wake up and remember. Wake up and release the light. Wake up and release the light. Wake up and release the light. And it is. Wake up and release the light. Wake up and release the light. Wake up and release the light. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Um, okay. So that was uh, something else going on. Then I just, I don't know why everything wants to go on autoplay when I play videos. So I think that, I think those are like the major videos that I wanted to share with you. I could go in and show you how she has stuff on Spreaker and all these different types of channels. Although you can also Google that and verify that what I'm saying is true. Like I kind of feel like, well, why, why show you those things? But she's got material up in different places. Uh, why has she taken her main channel? Like why is her main channel deactivated? And now there's this other... A uh, new channel with just her trip with her boyfriend going to Corpus Christi. Like, is this another rebranding thing? You know, it's like, I don't know. It's just also very, it's also very strange. Now, there's some stuff with James Casbolt that I want to show before we stop the, the evening out uh, of things that people that I've been looking at just sometimes you guys, I, 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 I indulge in this, like in, in sort of almost like a distraction of, of like what, what some of these, some of these people, you know, some, some people are doing video, they do interesting videos of James Casbolt of Lauren Like, for example, here, a Jezebel a Squid production. Um, but I want to find some, I mean, there were some very interesting videos of, like, here they are. Yes. I'm getting it now. Okay, I'm finding them. That really kind of blew my mind when I watched them, of, of, the, of, of what's this one guy has done like this totally cracks me up. Cat, it's called it's titled Casbolt Wars, and the channel is 
Ed Bingy. It's E D B I N G E Y. Okay. And I'm gonna put this in um, in the in the chat. Yeah, my kitty. Yeah, you can hear him making noise. Like he likes to hang out. This is this is kind of interesting. At this hour, he one of his spots is to be on the toilet. Like he'll like I, I put the top on it because I don't want him drinking the toilet water. That's Orlando. Yeah, baby. You know I'm talking about you. Yeah, honey. What's going on? And um, so I had to move. Like, of course, I had to move. Like, I got to, you know. So, um, and so he's, this This is kind of his howling hour. You know, it's getting, it's getting to his, like, love kitties. I do, too. I do, too. He, I prayed for him, actually. I, I was feeling lonely um, with the pandemic. And I, all of my classes were online. By the way. I'm going to do like a quick pitch for myself. Uh, if you would like to support the um, Terry Joyce college fund, because I did lo lose my financial aid this uh, semester. I've actually applied to go to the university here and I'm pretty sure I'm going to get it because I have enough units to transfer and I'm on the Dean's list. Uh, I am a journalism major, so my um, focus is actually digital journalism because everything's going on, on digital. Matter of fact, um, this semester, I um, one of my classes that I have, I'm actually writing on the school college paper. Uh, I'm a reporter for the school paper, and uh, it's part of the course, right? But they're not, it, there's not even a paper version of it anymore because they're actually teaching us to be prepared to go on to digital. My whole focus was to make this. I know I'm, I'm kind of on YouTube. I'm staying in this in this particular genre, um, you know, the UFO media. But I also have a podcast that is on Anchor and Spotify and Apple Podcasts and Google Play. Uh, and uh, various Podbean, you can find it. Uh, right, I, and I want to share with you really, really quickly um, my latest episode. As a matter of fact, I, I, I want to pull this up, and I don't even want to say it on YouTube because uh, YouTube is so sensitive about this kind of stuff, but you can listen to it on my Spotify. Okay. I'm doing a show. I did a podcast this morning uh, or today. I uploaded it here. You can listen to it. I'll probably have an edited version of this on my YouTube channel, um, but I'm covering this particular topic with the comedian Tiffany Haddish and Ari Spears. Okay, so you see the title here, right? So uh, I'm going to leave you a, a link to this. Okay, in the chat, if you want to listen to that podcast, please support me uh, there as well, uh, if you can. Uh, and let me bring this over to here. So uh, I had, I did some, I looked into this particular topic, uh, and I did a uh, some research into it, and I, I did, I, I gave my own uh, opinions on it. I'm not going to talk about it right now because. I don't want to talk about this on YouTube. Uh, I'd like to talk about this on YouTube, but at the same time, I'm just kind of putting different types of material in different places where I can get away with it. Uh, hopefully in the next week or so, I'm going to be uploading to Odyssey. I'm going to find another platform that is not YouTube uh, per se uh, as well. So that I'm, I hope to be doing that uh, right away. Uh, I haven't been here for a couple weeks because I've been in school. I also tutor for biology, anthropology, but I still need some assistance over the next couple of months in terms of money for like extra things like, you know, help, help to cover with rent, help to cover with other things. I am in that position, that need at this time for the next couple of months until I go to Fresno State and then I get the financial aid to go to Fresno State, then things will probably loosen up. There's another way that you can also support me. I do sell CBD products with CBD BioCare. 
uh, we have a really new, a really great new product that's come out. It's a sleeping gel and it has CBN as well as melatonin in it. And if you go to greatcbddeals.com, uh, you can also um, get a 5% discount. And if you use the code Terry Joyce and also on that site, there's other discounts. There's like a 25% discount on the sleeping gel. So you can probably, you can get a 30% discount on trying it. Um, in the description of this video, I also have, if you want to try the CBD products, uh, there is a link there where you can, you get a, you can pick out free samples of the CBD oil. Uh, so and uh, you know gummy bears or however combination you want to do it and all you have to do is pay for the postage and handling like six dollars and you can try the products i love the products uh i have um i like the um, coffee pods with cbd in them uh, i also love the roll-on cream and they have a really great pet hot spot spray that is really remarkable on um, helping if you're if you have any animals that have any type of skin sensitivity or anything going on it's very healing and you and humans can use it too there's also pet cbd products as well all of the products are organic they use the the whole plant uh, in 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 their product, and I stand by it. I've been wanting to have a CBD product to sell for a really long time, and this is it. So I have been making a little bit of a monthly commission from that from my sales. So that's another way that helps me keep afloat, helps me to keep providing material here. I'm able to do my podcast. I'm able to live stream, and I can I can improve myself by going to college and being a better writer. I also have a blog at notmyrabbithole.com. Uh, I've got a few pieces up there now, a um, couple of essays. And uh, so I'm going to continue. So um, expanding, which is what it's all about. Okay. And I love talking about this particular topic. I love talking about, um, I love probing into the UFO phony people. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm, I, I was on American Freedom Radio and Revolution Radio, and I, I, I believed a lot of this stuff. I just accepted a lot of it right away. And now, you know, there seems to be some cracks and some holes and stuff. So um, I am still, I'm, I'm not a total skeptic. All right. Uh, and I, I am looking for the truth, but I'm also, um, uh, you know, I think we have to have a discernment on who is leading us in the wrong direction. Uh, but definitely, um, that being said, oh, thank you, B Baker. Um, uh, thank you. Great show. Thank you. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to show you this Casbolt video and a couple of like fun kind of clips, uh, before, before I say goodbye to you guys. So let's enjoy this. Here we go. Lord Vader. Lord Vader. He seems too eager to get me to have a whiskey for some reason. The Death Star plans are not in the main computer. Hey, motherfucker. We're intercepting no transmissions. Uh, uh, this is a consular ship. We're on a diplomatic mission. Fuck you and your jacket. You don't bring someone like me into a place like Southern Greece. Really. Darth Vader, only you could be so bold. But no showing me the others. Okay? I'm a member of the Imperial Senate on a diplomatic mission to Alderaan. That's so solid crew until you heard our flow from Romeo. Oh no, for right now, in a cow deep, so solid family. Tell me why you want to be. Obviously the creation of an uberman, a superman. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sure there's significance in it somewhere, but I don't have the information. Holy 
prisoner is dangerous. Word of this gets out. It could generate sympathy for the rebellion in the Senate. Stories, rumors, and accusations. So I got to say self-conscious on my head gestures before they call me a mason. She'll die before she'll tell you anything. But I haven't really talked about what she went on there, so I'll do that now. Um... Lord Vader? Uh oh there's that NAA. No transmissions were made. An escape pod was jettisoned during the fight. No life forms were aboard. There's no legal situation that's going to sort this out, or there's no courts, nothing like that. This is the only way this is going to be taken care of. <laughs> Don't try to frighten us with your sorcerer's ways, Lord Vader. Enough of this. Vader, release him. Uh oh. Ah. This bickering is pointless. Okay, so I, I thought that was just kind of interesting. I don't want to talk about Steve Perry right now. So let's, okay, stop, 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 stop. Okay, and then I want to show like a little bit of him, like James Caswell rapping uh, here for a minute. Because apparently... He had some rap videos. Hold on. Let me, let me find them. How did it slip up this far up again? Uh, hold on. Sorry. Um, I've been looking at a lot of videos lately. Just a moment. Um, Okay. Okay, here it is. I think there's like there's one that I thought was really interesting where where Carmen's in it. Okay, yeah. Okay. Here, let me let me do the rap one first cuz this kind of I find it interesting that he was rapping, that James Casbolt was actually doing rap videos. Okay, hold on. Here we go. Cannot and will not be publishing the full interview with James Casbolt or Michael Prince. Who is Michael anyway? Who's running Michael Prince? Who's actually behind pushing Michael? What's he current, what altar is he currently involved with? Super soldiers are not dead obvious. Um, I'm on that list, but I'm not on the drone list. With the grid keeper. But in the meantime, Bass Blast. Whatever. How would you respond to that from a, from a verbal, intellectual point of view? 
Okay, so there's that one. Okay, and then uh, come on, I don't want that. Okay, stop it. Okay, and then I want to go back to. Um, there's another one that features. Uh, hold on, let let this settle down here. There's another one that features. Carmen even. So why does that keep wanting to slide up? So annoying. Uh Casbol, here it is. Carmen, who was his girlfriend at one point. Okay, so okay. I mean, this is goes on and like, these are kind of interesting and they're not bad that the person took some time. Hello, this is great. I don't know who he is. I'll check him out. Yeah, okay, James Casbolt is uh, the person that Lauren says is his twin flame. James Casbolt came out on the scene as AKA Michael Prince and with Max Spears as a super soldier, which is coined by uh, Carrie Cassidy from Project Camelot where they were augmented, uh, they were, you know, MK Ultra special, you know, bulletproof skin. I mean, all, all these all these different stories. Max is different than Casbolt, but the thing that's different about Casbolt is that he married an heiress uh, that was with the Meyer family from the Meyer grocery chain and ended up going to prison for uh for revenge porn and since then he's disappeared and nobody knows where he is and um uh, he's basically uh, he was like one of miles johnston's stars okay if you just uh, as a matter of fact be baker if you want to i have some videos i have some videos on james casbolt in my you know, just go through my video, my live streams. I've done, I've, I've done, I've mirrored and done, done conversations, analyzed some of his uh, lectures that James Caswell has given. So, if you want to do more more research on him, he's very interesting, and he's 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 in that pop grouping of Sarah and James and you know um, Max Spears, and then there's Haley Myers. All right, so. It's all very, it's all very, and, and that, and then Lauren is coming out and saying that she's his twin flame, even though she's never met him personally ever. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely worth checking out. Okay, so here's, here's another one of, of his. Carmen, uh, he was seeing all these different women too. And apparently he says that he's, you know, was asked to move his seat around because he's got the special juju. Everybody has special juju, right? So uh, bloodline, this and that, blah, 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 you know, because you're a certain bloodline when you're in, when you're a super soldier. And it, it falls into the, Nazi Uberman theory, the Superman theory, right? Okay, so here's here's another one. So, you know, any other thing you want to do, probably okay. You need to stop with the shit, shit. You need to stop with the shit. You need to stop with the shit, shit. Any other thing you want to do, probably okay. You need to stop with the shit, shit. You need to stop with the shit. You need to stop with the shit, shit. Any other thing you want to do, probably okay. 
Like, where did this footage of Carmen come from? He's a freak. You know what he likes? Nasty. You need to stop with the shit shit. You need to stop with nasty. You need to stop with the shit shit. Any other thing you want to do? I mean, is it from our Facebook? Anyway, I'm going to stop this one. I mean, there's just one more I'm going to share before I go. So, um, let me... Um, go back there's one last one that's kind of interesting and then maybe like one more lauren video um this one on lauren is really good we got to watch this one Hold on. This is from uh, Target N11 again. This will kind of give you a whole synopsis of like James Casbolt with her. Okay, this one is, is worth watching. <laughs> this is like a Lauren Pritchard, James Casbolt marathon. Okay, hold on. You stay the hell away from me, you hear? I wear this crown of thorns upon my liar's chair full of broken thoughts I don't know if anyone's going I to find cannot it. repair beneath the stains of time the feelings disappear you are someone else I am still right here what have I become my sweetest friend everyone I know goes away in the year and you could have it all my empire of dirt I will let you down I will make you hurt if I could start again a million miles away, I would keep myself. I would find a way. That's a great song, by the way. I and mean, that's that's um, Johnny Cash um, covering uh, Nine Inch Nails. Uh, so it's just, that's just an interesting, I mean, like the thing that gets me is there's people making these videos about them. I, I, I just find to me, this is just fascinating. Like why, like what, what is it that in a way they're, they're an underground kind of like cultural, like a lot of people in my life, like I go, well, what'd you do your video on, on, on Ustream? Uh, not on Ustream, but on, on uh, YouTube. I used to do Ustream. What did you do your, what did you do your video on YouTube, your live stream? I'd be like, oh, okay, it's about this woman named Lauren Pritchard. Uh, and, and what's interesting, too, about Lauren Pritchard is that there's another Lauren Pritchard that's a famous singer. 
So when you first Google her, you see Lauren Pritchard. And that's another thing that I've noticed about a lot of these people, these personalities is that they they have a, there's an, another name that covers them on the internet that's more famous than they are. It's not the first time I've noticed this. So I find that to be uh, an interesting pattern. Um, and I think I'm gonna I'm gonna leave on this one. Uh, this will be the last one I'm going to show. Okay. I love that song. I do too. I, I, I love that song. That's a great song. Maybe I'll even close on that with Nine Inch Nails. It's a great song. Okay, so uh, anyway, I just kind of wanna wanted to show some of that. Wow, how did I get a text this late at night? <laughs> yeah, maybe these figures are created and funded. Maybe they are. There are some things that James Casbolt said that are are actually happening right now. Like he said that the elite had an agenda to create a race war in the United States and was part of the separation. He also talked about how, um, you know, the Rothschilds and the Rockefellers or whatever, like there was this separation, but now they are united together against us, basically. But if you look at it, that's exactly what's happening right now is that we do have a race war. And there are some things that Max Spears have said that are actually really taking place right now. So those things or, or I go, wait a second here, right? I don't know what to think about James Casbold uh, or even, you know, I, I mean, the a lot of the things that they said sounded so sci-fi and outlandish. 
And yet for me, when watching them, they were, they were riveting when I first started to listen to them speak. Now we knew, now if, if you don't know, I think you might, you probably know this, that Max Spears had a suspicious death. And so there's that whole uh, thing that's trailing. I mean, they say, okay, yeah, he OD'd. Oh yeah, he had a drug problem. But there are a lot of things that you can actually really question about his death. And and they were, and they say that like James and Max, they were childhood friends uh, even. And that they were like kind of paired together in what they call, you know, this super soldier uh, type of media. Or not media, but, you know, program. It is a media. I mean, come on. They have been doing conventions for the for super soldiers. This this is a, this is a money maker for the people that put those conventions on. I don't think the people that are speaking at them are making a lot of money, but it, it is it is a, a a money maker. Yeah, yeah. It's a man. Uh, you know, Max Spears' death was weird. Man manufactured a uh, race war. Yes. You know, right now everybody's talking about the Little Mermaid being black. Well, you know, they, and they're getting all excited about it. Like, how could they? How could you do this? You know, you know, it's like, okay, the original Little Mermaid, written by Hans Christian Andersen, she was green. One of the first cartoons, she was green. Oh, she was originally white. No, she wasn't. She was green. Now, just take a chill pill, okay? But we're all being, it's all being like, you know, salt being rubbed, you know, oh, it's the Republicans, it's this, it's that. Well, you know what? Historically, the Democrats were the slave owners. Now you can say like during LBJ, when they brought in the civil rights and like, you know, we're gonna lose the South and they all became Republicans. So the same people are Republicans. But my problem is, is that, okay, but the fact of the matter is, is that the Democratic Party the Democrats originally were the ones who were this part of the South and represented this. So what does that mean? That means that your party isn't pure. Like you're not the perfect ones. Nobody's the perfect ones. That's my point. I, I, I This is what I say. Racism is not a party problem. It's a human problem. And until that we go back and we look in the mirror, we look at our past transgressions and we look at today, then we were going to be able to build another future. That's what I think about it. I'm not going to be manipulated by this. I'm not going to stand for it. But it is happening right now. And it has been a problem. And there are uh, racial stereotypes in our media. They have existed. They've been existing for a long time. Not just black people, but women and, you know, multi Latinx. And you can just go down the line of how the main corporate people running everything and running the newsroom was, a, was a, you know, a, a white guy, the white elite, the, the Yale graduate is the one who gets to like be running the show. That is a fact that's been going on. All right. That has been happening. And now it's a lot easier for us to be lumped into racist, Christian, this or that, voted for, you know, MAGA, did whatever, booing on, this and that. That's what's going down right now. Big, huge separation in the United States. If you're not in the United States, maybe you don't, it, you know, it, 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 it may not be happening to you in the same way. But you know what's going on. You can observe what's happening here. And you know what? What happens here is the same that's going on everywhere else. But it is happening here. I, I, I'm I, honestly, I'm gonna, I'm gonna end on this. I'm afraid that we are headed to Nazi-like behavior from the people that are leading this country, and that they are getting ready to just round people up and say, you know what? You're a problem with democracy. You're the fascist, and those people may not be the ones who are the fascists. What did Hitler do? He he took a group of people and he and he and he and he made and he made them the bad guys, and then you know we had the brown shirts and it was and that's the way it happened. That's why even if if it's the president of the United States, the president of the United States should not be allowed to incite violence against a party of people or a demonization. That's very dangerous. It's the same thing that that that. Lauren Pritchard is doing. The problem that's dangerous about Lauren Pritchard is that she is portraying the very person that Biden is telling needs to be round up. And she's not even that person.
She's actually all over the place being a Christian Luciferian. She's a loose cannon. And that, that's my main point about some of the people that are in this media and how we are manipulated. We are not, a lot of people are not using their own discernment. And uh, some of us have been duped. Some of us went way woo or whatever. We have to realize how we're being manipulated. And maybe we won't. Maybe we will. But I'm still going to be having a channel where I explore that. Like, how are we being manipulated? How can we not have this happen to us? I don't know. I'm not sure there's a solution, but I'm going to hope for it. I'm going to at least talk about it while I can. Yeah, scary times ahead. Pray and protest. Yes, it is. I don't know about you, but, uh, you know, as I'm going about my day and as I'm trying to, like, build my own life, like, why is there, you know, I mean, we could be dead tomorrow. I don't know what's going to happen. Like, I take every single day. I'm like, okay, I'm still here. There's still something happening. But it looks really grim right now. It's very unsettling. It even makes my stomach upset. I'm like, ah, oh, it just like makes me feel like unsettled. Like, you have to have either one philosophy or the other. If you, if you, I feel like when I post things on, on social media, I think people want to wedge me into a category, but I don't really fit either one. Like, I, I prefer to just pull back and kind of, like, think on both sides of what's going on and do commentary. But no matter what I say, I piss somebody off. You know, and I guess I have to just accept that. Like, maybe that's what we're – that we need to do that. We need to, like, have the balls to say what we really think about everything, not just, like, you know, oh, I'm on, I'm on my own team. Let me vote for my own team. I'm red or blue. How, how much have we been manipulated with being red and blue all the time? You're the red team. You're the blue team. It's a red team. It's a blue team. It's red, blue, red, blue, red, blue, red, blue. And it doesn't matter because the people that are doing it to us are just like doing a, a magic trick so they can pull the rug from under us. The war is on us. Not, not like what, 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 what side with each other that we want to be. And most people don't get that. Anyway, that's what I think, for whatever that's worth. So let me see if I can find a little Nine Inch Nails. My cat, see my cats in, in, in the howling mode. We do this every night. Yeah, baby. I know. I'm going to have to give him some snacks. Okay. Um, nine inch nails hurt. There it is. Okay, so thanks for watching, you guys, and um, have a great Sunday and a great week, and hopefully I'll be back not too long from now. The last couple of weeks, I wasn't able to live stream because it was so crazy, and I went to my high school reunion, and I, I didn't talk about any of that, but maybe for another show. Okay. Oh, wait, this is not what I want. Damn it. Hold on. That's what I want. Close this out. Just a second. Oh, thank you. Uh, Thank you, B. Baker. I'm glad you like the show. That makes me smile. Okay, here we go.
Should be starting soon. I hurt myself today to see if I still feel I focus on the pain. The only thing that's real The needle tears a hole The old familiar sting Try to kill it all away But I Stains of time, the feelings disappear. You are someone else. I am still.